Broadcast Jamaican, now gear the news in the Jamaican language. Wagwan people, this is Kadeen Marshall and I give the news rundown in a Jamaican. First, me me give the headline them. Kevin Smith, who was the leader for the Pathway International Kingdom Restoration Ministries, dead this morning in a one car accident near the Bagua Gorge in a St. Catherine. One policeman dead in another accident too. The Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, so one shipment of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine the on the way to Jamaica. The White House in America, so come November 8th, any visitor to them country have to be vaccinated with either a Food and Drug Administration vaccine or one where the World Health Organization so can use. One woman get shot under yesterday in a Banbury district in a Linstead St. Catherine. Make sure you follow our YouTube page Broadcast Jamaican for hear more news and like the video after you don't listen. Now for the full tour of them. Kevin Smith, who was the leader for the Pathway International Kingdom Restoration Ministry, dead this morning in a one car accident near the Bagua Gorge in St. Catherine. One police constable, Orlando Irons, dead in the accident too, and two other police officers get hurt and in a hospital. The police did a car speak to Kingston when the three vehicle accident go on. Dr. Same dead at the Linstead Hospital. Smadi was swear go on, says some fireman did have cut the people them out of the car. Smith get locked up last week after police going to the church after them get reports that some ritual killing did a go on. The Pan American Health Organization, PAO, so one shipment of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine the pan the way to Jamaica. Them put this on them website yesterday and them say a 100,620 dose. Past September 15, Jamaica did stop giving out the Pfizer vaccine because them did a run out. The Ministry for Health did start giving picnic 12 years and older the vaccine so face to face school could have kicked back in at the high school. Them. Yesterday, America said they were give Jamaica 400,000 of the Pfizer vaccine in the middle of November. The White House in America, so come November 8, any visitor to them country have to be vaccinated with either a Food and Drug Administration vaccine or one where the World Health Organization so can use. Plus, people have to show proof so they fully vaccinated before they can take plane coming at them country. Any U.S. citizen and legal permanent residents, LPRs, who can travel but not take the vaccine, have to show proof of a negative COVID-19 test one day before them can come back in the country. But Pickney, who under the age of 18, and people who can't take the vaccine because of medical problem, can still come in the country. One woman get shot and dead yesterday in a Banbury district in a Linstead St. Catherine. The dead woman, a 40 years old Natalie Kelly Baker, who was a nursing aide. One man who did dead with her get shot too and him in the hospital in a serious condition. As according to the police report, around 7.15 in the night, Baker did the outside of one shop with one friend when two gunmen walk up to them and shot them up. The gunman them get her in a some bush. Baker dead at the hospital. She just come back from England what day. She had a second woman to get shot in a Linstead in a less than one month. Pan October 8, gunman shot one woman from Grove Road when she did a come from work. The police are reported them get called to Black B in the Sherlock community in a Christian St. Andrew after people find one man head without the body sat the gun. The people them said the head belonged to 41 years old Sherrod Yanni Olness who were one done in the area. The police are them think Olness get killed in the Spanish town area and him body get dumped in the community. On top of that, the police said Olness did run away from the community because a gang war were going in there. His mother did report him missing to the police. The police said they must search for him body. Now for sports. The Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, 
said them I go beg the Jamaican government for make people come a stadium come watch the reggae boys play in a them next home game against America pan November 16. The JFF said them tried two time already and the government turned them down but the fans them help boot up the players them and make them play better. Pan top of that, the JFF said them not have the support when them go up on the road so them need it at them yard. People, remember the curfew are from 8 p.m. in the night to 5 in the morning. Me name Kadeen Marshall and that are the news rundown in a Jamaican. Broadcast Jamaican just get the news in the Jamaican language.